You know you're nice, you know you're nice, no Uber out of my house, you caught a taxi So I'm just now getting home from take appointment say no. But I'm just getting home from my nigga's house and I just came to the realization. Hold on, let me turn the lights on because the quality is about to just Okay, I've come to the conclusion I talk to myself like a lot. And it just makes no sense why I talk to myself and I don't vlog while I'm talking to myself because that's the point of vlogging but yeah um I'm just gonna talk to you guys now because I was walking around to the house and I started talking to myself again I'm just like put the camera on so anyways I want to show you guys what I got from Zara and American Eagle yesterday because I was trying to I was telling you guys I don't know if I told you guys in the last vlog but I've been looking for mom jeans for the longest so I finally uh well these lashes look a little much right now um so i finally found some mom jeans from american eagle why is my face so chunky and then i just look so washed out because i have like dried up concealer on my face oiling down yeah anywho that's besides the point so let me show you guys what i got from zara first So I got these little shorts. These are, you know, cute for the summertime with like a white, like, mm, like skinnier strap shirt. So I got that. These are the shorts. They're actually shorter on me than they look on camera. They almost give almost booty shorts, but yeah. And the next thing I got was this shirt. I've seen this because, I, I see this and I automatically wanted it because I'm like, this is gonna go so good with my mom jeans. Like, this is gonna go so good with my mom jeans. So it's like this, like, hold on guys, because I totally forgot. Is there stuff on this? Oh, bitch. Hold on. Okay, and I hate when that stupid ass shit. Yo, I will not, leave out, it's not for me. Never again, never again. I just wanna know why my eyes look like this. Maybe because I stuff with my lashes on, these are strips, I don't know. But yeah, so I got this, but I think it's fucking dirty. I don't know what I'm seeing right here because of the light in my kitchen. But nah, there's something right there. There is something right there. I'm gonna have to try and scrub that out. Oh my God. This is why I hate going to the Zara and Lennox because it's just so ghetto and overwhelming and just like, just, just, they do too much. And why does my chin look like that? Ciao. So the next thing I got was this dress. Guys, my total came out to 90, pretty much $100 for three things. I don't wanna say too much, but this is, this is why I have no money, okay? So this is another, this is a dress. And honestly, I thought it was gonna be too long because it's super, super long and I'm 5'1". But once it passes my boobs and my ass, it yikes up a good 10 feet, so. It fits me perfectly, so I got this. I can't wait to wear this, actually. I'm super excited about that. Then I'm gonna show you guys the mom jeans I got. Excuse my titties. <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> so these are the first mom jeans that I got, and I got these for such a good price, guys. I had like 15% off, then I had, then I would buy one, get one 50% off. So my second pair of jeans came up to like $20. So this is the first pair of mom jeans I got. Okay. In the knees, exactly what I like. Okay, and honestly, I was thinking about putting another rip right here, but we'll see. Cause I have, I've had so many juicy rips in them. My mom be like, "You look like you got treated by a dog." So I'm gonna chill on the rips this year. And then I pretty much got the same exact jean, just in a lighter wash. And these ones, well, this one actually has more rips. So yeah, I wouldn't even have to put the other ones. These ones have more rips in them and they're just a lighter wash and they are so cute. So I'm thinking, I was thinking with this, I was thinking 
I was thinking that this would look cute together. You know, it's giving very much white girl. But then I was like, the darker wash is just gonna look so classy with this, okay? I just, I just have a fit in mind. I just have a fit, a fit in mind. You guys are just gonna have to see. I hope I got a picture. Because every time I find a nice outfit, I'm not gonna pictures. But yeah, this is everything I got, guys. It wasn't too much. It wasn't like a huge haul. You know, like a five hundred dollar Zara haul because honestly, the Zara and Lennox, they only have small and mediums. Everybody takes all the largest. Everybody in Atlanta takes all the largest. So do not go to the Zara in um Lennox. You're better off going to the one in perimeter because you're more likely to have your size because they have more stuff in stock. My friend had got a dress there and we went the first time. Well, she had went the first time because she went to the mall earlier than me and they didn't have her size in it. And then we came back when I got to the mall because I came a little bit after her. And then it showed up mysteriously. But I think it's just because someone probably was trying it on in the fitting room and they didn't like it or didn't fit. And they put it back on the rack. But besides the point, that's what I got from Zara at American Eagle. I love American Eagle jeans. Even though they ripped in the thighs probably after a year, I will never, I will never switch up on them. I will never switch up on them. I tried Fashion Nova. I tried so many other places so many times and it's like that is my go-to so yeah ew that's gross but anyway today's sunday i was supposed to go to brunch with my friend but i canceled on her because i just want to be in the house today um i'm tired i just want to chill get some work done um edits i have work tomorrow just i have a lot of stuff to do and then i'm going to dc in like two weeks so there's just a lot going on but yeah i'm gonna check in with you guys later because i feel like i have something to tell you guys but i'm gonna just check in with you guys later guys so this is my how my hair turned out um i'm eating tiramisu and it's been a long night but i'm gonna show you guys what i got from sephora this tiramisu is really good I got this, it's a like little facial toner um, for your face. Um, I'll let you guys know how I feel about this because this was very hyped on the gram. Forehead is looking huge, yeah. So we'll see. Hey guys, so me and Zenny are, oh my God, I thought you had a Christmas hat on for a second. Don't play with me, I have Dominican. <laughs> so, I have Dominican. Me and Zenny are at home because we've never been to this home. Have you been to this home goods before? No. This is super yeah, I've never been to this home goods before. They have a lot of stuff here. Um, I think it's like a hidden gem. I'm not gonna tell you guys where it is, or I might put it in the description. I don't know, but this is seems to be one of the home goods in Atlanta that actually has stuff. So yeah, but we are at home goods looking at stuff. Um I didn't came here for candles, but now we're in the kitchen aisle looking for kitchen stuff. Because we're irresponsible with money. Very much so. Anywho. Um, so. <gasps> Don't make a scene so everybody can. Yes. <laughs> Don't make a scene. Don't make a scene. I really shouldn't be looking around because I'm going to find something I don't need. Anywho. This will be just a quick little rollover of the stuff they got in here. You really think this is cute? This is a kitchen. No. Put it back. Yes. Let me get closer in case they don't see it. This is adorable.
very very oily right now so i just came from walmart aka the ghetto and now i'm at clean juice i'm about to get my drink that i had last time if you guys watched my last vlog you would see which drink it is but it's really good um oh my god look at this fedex guy all the fedex guys in the are fine let me show you He's fine, but your soulmate is not an Atlanta girl. So, <laughs> anyways, let's go inside. Guys, I almost dropped my damn smoothie on the floor outside. I would have been stressed. So, got my joink. I got my joink, and I'm feeling jitter wida. And I'm feeling like jitter wida. Okay, drinking clean, it's like nah. But um, why is it every time you get something a second time, it's never as good as the first time? Maybe it was a location that I went to. And then I didn't really know if this was the right drink. She said there was only two pink drinks. I knew it wasn't a protein drink, but it doesn't taste the same. So I got that, I got the, the so basic one again and then I got the Cali wrap um, and I got cheddar cheese instead of provolone I think it says no provolone but I said I wanted cheddar instead of provolone so let's see how it is this is how it looks I have one nail on how ghetto Not too bad. Very hot. I don't know how I feel about hot lettuce and avocado. But it's good. Is this like... Uh-uh. Should I put a slice of chicken on it? I don't like sliced chicken. That's so nasty to me. Oh. Mm-mm. It just lost points. I'm going home. Hey guys so <laughs> um we are in the car looking very much bald um well first of all my edges are cooked already i'm so done with so done with sewing this is the first and the last time um yeah so anyways i am off to trader joe's and aldi's um, I just want to check in with you guys. I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here or if I'm going to add any more stuff in. But for now, um, this will kind of be like my ending because I don't know what we're going to do. Um, oh, we might go to dinner tonight. So, yeah. Who is that walking behind my car? Yeah, I have to get a couple things today because I had to get paint for my freaking apartment for my maintenance people. I had to get paint, so now I have to get a roller to roll the paint. I always bump into this guy in the garage, and um, I just don't know why we always run into each other. But anyways, um, so yeah, I am uh, going to go get a little thing to roll the paint. Maybe I might do that with you guys on camera. I don't know, but I have to paint the walls because my brothers came here and scruffed up my walls so bad when they came for spring break. I just, I can't even deal. So yeah, I have to go do that. And then I have to go get some salmon. Oh, and I got a George Foreman grill. I don't know if I showed you guys that already on camera, but if not, I'll show you guys when I get home. But I got a little George Foreman grill because I want to make kebabs. So that's that. I'm getting back into the gym today because I've been out of the gym for two weeks and it's showing in my face completely, completely. And then I was just sitting here like thinking in my car, I'm rambling a lot right now, but I was just in my car thinking like, damn, like I know the life that I want. I know the life that I've always desired to have. Oh, I can't with these tapes and my fucking head is so itchy. Um, it's just like, I'm just trying to figure out how I get to her. Like, what, 
what do I gotta put in the GPS to get like to arrive to her like I just know what I want for myself and this is not that okay it's way more than that so I'm just like sitting here like thinking like wow what do I have to do right now to get to where I want to be and I've always thought that like especially when I first graduated college but now being that I'm gonna be 25 in two months I just can't keep like not, like my future just can't be up in the air anymore like it has to be set in stone there has to be a plan there has to be something in place because I just know that for my future kids like I just know how I want them to live I don't know why I keep looking over there I just know how I want them to live. I know what I want for them. So being that I already know what I want for them, I just feel like I have to fight for everything that I want in order to be able to give that to them. Like, I want to be that mom who can make sure she's at every PTA meeting, is on top of her kids' life, like... I'm able to spend time with them, know them as an individual because I feel like growing up, my parents really did not know me as an individual. You guys can't even see my eyes because of the stupid hat. Anyways, I'm just gonna, I, I just wanted to put that out there. Manifest your life, guys. Like, I really get people. And if you guys really, like, interacted with me in the comments and just got to know me as a person, you would really know that, like, I understand, like, how, like, as a female, how we be thinking the shit that we be going through that we don't be wanting to address and we want to keep to ourselves like i just get it okay i get it that's all i'm gonna say my fucking double chin is just finding its way right back guys i was doing so good i was going to the gym for a good month and a half every day only missed like one two days out of the week my arms were slimming the fuck down like the second i take time off i'm i'm bloated up like a fish okay i i just can't win i can't win i think this is like the grown woman like simmering its way into my body but literally if i miss gym for a couple days i'm already seeing i'm already seeing what's going on anyways i'm talking too much let's go <laughs> Please excuse my hair. I'm bald. Um, <laughs> so I went to Pound City Market because I went to William Sonoma's to try and find this Casamigos cocktail mixer I seen on Instagram, but they didn't have it, so they ordered it for me free shipping. So yeah, I ordered that. But guys, let me tell you last night. I'm about to stop going on TikTok because you bitches be lying on there. So we went to Copper Cove last night because apparently that's the sugar diety spot of Atlanta and Thursdays are supposed to be the best nights to go. Granted, we went yesterday on a Thursday. First of all, food was terrible. You know, I th you, first of all, they serve their food. They serve their food in this. Okay, all your food comes out in this. Very ghetto. Second... Um, the, I got the jerk salmon pasta. First of all, I'm just now noticing that they didn't even take the damn skin off the salmon. So I'm like trying to figure out what this black shit is in this pasta. And it's the freaking skin from the salmon, which I hate. Then I want to warm. So then I go to warm this up being that it's been in my fridge. Do you know this thing is literally so put together? Like I know my fridge is cold, but literally I try to get out the box Look what it did to the box. It, it literally ripped the box 
when I was taking it out. So I'm guessing it was probably melting the styrofoam. The styrofoam was probably melting when they put the flaming hot food into it last night. And then I go and put it in the refrigerator last night. Refrigerator, sorry. I went and put it in the refrigerator last night. So now it's just like a mixture of styrofoam and jerk pasta. So now I'm scared to even eat this. I'm letting it defrost because it's literally a, just a rock chunk of pasta and salmon. But yeah, I do not recommend. Um, I don't know if I give it another try because... I mean, I went on a good night. It's not like I went on a Monday. I went on a good night with my friend. And literally, all there was was couples and girl groups there. And it was like, I mean, the vibes were cool. The music, and that's another thing. The DJ was not a fan either. Like, was not a fan. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't impressed. And the girls on TikTok made it seem like it was that place to go to. So I was a little disappointed last night. But guys, I got a, I got invited to a I got invited to a couple functions yesterday, like after the fact, but I don't know why I'm still so like on reserve when it comes to going out. I just I don't know. Like we could have went somewhere afterwards, but I don't know. I, I'm very still introvert, very much introvert, and I don't like being around people. Um, we might go somewhere tonight, but then again, we might not, because look at my hair. Okay, guys, so we are outside. It is Saturday, um, and we are meeting Shay Shay for, um, we're meeting her for lunch. I'm at Cog Street. You're Shay right here. I'm vlogging. I see you. Say hi. So we're going. So we're going to lunch right now at what is it called? Maki Mana. Maki Mana. Okay. Is it here? Oh. Okay. So I'll come back when we're in the restaurant. you guys what i got it's got a little things got a little things i don't know this is so embarrassing this is so embarrassing <gasps> i think you're fucking lying yo that's what we're not gonna do 
we're not gonna do fruit flies this summer. Tell you that. So, yeah. I hate when my friends be like, hello, and I be like, yeah, and they don't say nothing. Why are you calling me for it? Anyway, so. I am going to show you guys what I first got from Macy's. Okay. So I, I don't know if I, I think I told you guys about this in a vlog before, but this guy, this is really the best, 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 best perfume ever like the best perfume ever so i got another jimmy choo because my other one is running out um and i got in a bigger size this is the jimmy choo i want you and when i tell you guys this perfume is out of this world if you mix this with the delina you're a nigga magnet for the night okay niggas are gonna be chasing after you that's just that's just what what it is okay this is really the best perfume I've ever had one of the best this is probably the top two um but yeah so I got another Jimmy Choo I want to and I got it in the three point something I didn't realize they had a bigger size than this though they have a 4.1 I wish I would have known because there was a sale going on and I could have got that one but this is how she looks oh three this is 3.3 fluid ounces so yeah I got this okay then I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Ulta So then from Ulta, I got the Urban Skin RX. I got the Retinol um, rep Rapid Repair Dark Spot Treatment. Heard very good things about this. So I'm excited to try it. And it has Kojic Acid, which I see a lot in like, um, like bleaching agent creams. So I know that it's helps with lightening um so i got that and then i got the even tone cleansing bar three in one treatment um yeah we'll see how that goes and then i got the even tone super glow serum and this is just like an oil for your face i'm probably gonna use this when i do my little spa days and it comes with a little pump so yeah that's what i got from ulta because you know we gotta have good skin this summer <laughs> okay okay not you saying okay in the background <laughs> oh my god and then i got a couple things from tarjay i got these i got the stuff from tarjay the other day because i wanted to matter of fact i don't think i'm gonna show you guys that because i think i'm gonna record me doing that later so yeah, but I got some stuff from Target because I think I'm gonna bake later if I'm up to it. So yeah, that's just the little stuff that I got. I really can't wait to try this stuff out. I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel about it. This is the Urban Skin RX. Um, they sell this at Target, Ulta. I think that's it. But I've heard very good things about this and I have so much discoloration everywhere um my arms my arms my friends over here so anyways um <laughs> i'm gonna check back on with you guys when i take after i get out the shower i need to do these dishes i didn't put away these dishes dude i think for a couple days yeah so um <laughs> let me get my life together and i'll come back so oh, i also got this good molecule um i gel this is for under my eyes i'm gonna try this out and let you guys know how it goes because um literally my under eyes puff up so bad in the summertime i think it's because of my allergies but i'm honestly not sure but they always tend to puff up at the weirdest times especially like if i'm about to go out or i'm doing my makeup or i start drinking i don't know so i'm gonna try this out under my eyes and let you guys know how i feel about it it says, what are the ingredients in it? Hmm. But yeah, I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel about it and then I'll, uh, yeah. Hey guys, so I just took a shower. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, 
Yeah, so I just took a shower. First of all, this rude to see these being absolutely rude. So I just took a shower and I actually just used all the um, products that I showed you guys earlier that I got from Ulta. This is what my skin's looking like right now. I feel like a grease ball. Um, the only thing I didn't use was the eye thing. I'm gonna try that later on actually um, because they're not, well, they're on the way of puffing up, but they're, a, they're uh, not too bad right now, but my under eyes, like right here, they start to puff up. Um, I'm, like I said, I think it's my allergies, but I don't know. But um, we are about to, you see what I mean? Every time I'm trying to do great, somebody just gotta interrupt me. Like I, I be trying for you guys, I really do. Hello? Okay guys, I'm back. So, we're gonna be baking a cake. We're baking butter cake. So, this is what I got from Tarjay to help us make this today. I got a hand mixer because I'm gonna need one of these just to make, you know, cakes and just mix stuff around. So yeah, I got this finally. And then, I got, let me not show you my address. I got this, uh, and then I got this bunt cake thingy to make, put the cake in obviously, but yeah. So we are going to get started cooking. It's probably gonna be a montage because I don't feel like telling you guys all the steps, but, but I will leave the recipe, the link to the recipe down below. I'm using it from a YouTube channel. Um, what's her name? food 101 with Dorada. So yeah, um, we're gonna be using her recipe today to use this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're gonna be making butter cake today, guys. And yeah, just sit back and relax and grab your wine. <laughs> push a beat. Yeah, push a beat, turn me up. Turn me up, beat. Uh -huh. Corners in the paddock in my peace Push a pee uh, Cop no hammers for my pee We don't want no peace Got spread and cross back In the peace Drop the data now we black Inside the peace She not a lesbian for peace She turned lesbian Push a pee Push a pee On capital P I write you president Count president Push a pee Push a pee On her knees My banana pee let me squeeze this she need cause she keep the pee Private speed, private seat, bitch I'm pushing pee Purple paint, piece of paint, bitch I'm pushing pee Push a pee, push a pee, push a pee, push a pee Ready to get in the streets with me, no question. Ain't too rich to text, I let my shoulder. 